the next presentation ni post presentation 96 a study on prevalence and the factors associated with the flat feet in selected group of female nurses in national hospital of sri lanka the authors are ranatunga k lk jayasing s javardhan d ms the presenting author ranatunga lk good afternoon i am a physiotherapy student from allied health sciences faculty of medicine university of colombo first i would like to thank you slma for giving this opportunity my research topic is a study on prevalence and factors associated with flat feet in a selected group of female nurses in NHS. Flat foot is a postural deformity in which the foot doesn't have a normal medial longitude and arch when standing and the arches of the foot collapse with the entire sole and contact with the ground completely or near completely. According to the literature, it shows that most of the research have been done on prevalence preschool age children and school children and there were few studies regarding acquired flat feet in adults. The prevalence of it is about 10 to 25 percent among Middle East and Asian population. In Sri Lanka, there was no literature av available on the prevalence of flat feet among adults. This is a hospital-based cross-sectional analytical study. 100 female nurses with more than one year service and age between 25 to 55 years were randomly selected from 20 wards using simple random probability sampling method. Nurses with diabetes, arthritis such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and foot injuries were excluded. Self-administered questionnaire was used to collect data regarding factors such as age, number of hours standing per day, and whether their parents having flat feet or not. The plantar arc index was calculated as the ratio of area of the middle third of the footprint to the entire footprint area without including the toes. Normal value for PI is between 0.11 to 0.25. When the value of the ratio increases, it indicates that there is a flatter foot than normal. Normalized navicular height truncated is a ratio between navicular height relative to the truncated foot length. Navicular height is the distance between the most medial prominence of the navicular tuberosity to the supporting surface. Foot length was measured by using the perpendicular distance from the first metatarsophalangeal joint to the most posterior aspect of the heel from the footprint. Normal value for NNHT is between 0.22 to 0.31. When the value of the ratio decreases than 0.22, it indicates that there is a flatter foot than normal. The prevalence of flat foot condition in female nurses was calculated as a percentage of the study sample by using frequencies in the descriptive statistics and chi-square test was used to study the relationship between bilateral flat foot and the factors. The prevalence of bilateral flat foot in PI method was 31% and in industry method was 38%. In both methods, it was 13%. In PI method, BMI, age, and family history was significantly associated with bilateral flat foot. Any of the factor was not significant with flat feet in NHT method. Only BMI was significantly associated with those who had bilateral flat foot from both methods. This study found that the prevalence of bilateral flat foot in female nurses in NHSL was 13% and increased BMI was associated with bilateral flat foot. Finally, I would like to thank you my research supervisors, Professor Saroj Jaisinga and Dr. Dushanti Jayavaranan for the guidance. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. Okay, now good. So you mentioned that uh, the prevalence in Sri Lanka is not known. So yes. what's the prevalence in the South Asian region? That is uh, mentioned as 10 to 25 percent in Asian, sir. Asian, Asia, not, not, not the South Asian. Not South Asian, South sir. Asia. And, and Sri Lankan data is not known at the not moment. Not known, sir. So what made you study about the nurses, what particularly is it related to occupation or any particular reason? Yes, the nurses are doing a great service, sir. So uh, to, uh, to give a better service, they should lead a healthy lifestyle. And they lead, uh, during their service, uh, they, are s they work uh, with standing and prolonged standing. Those things uh, mm, relate with my research. I want to assess this BMI, prolonged standing, age. Those are affect with the flat feet. So, uh, wha so the, the problems that you uh, came across during your uh, period of uh, study as a physiotherapy student, is it the reason you made to choose this uh, area of study? Sorry, sir? No, I mean... Difficulties in 
the patients that you have come ac come across uh, in your in your studying period as a physiotherapy student have you come across this type of uh, people uh, i want to uh, assist the nurses because uh, there was no um, research findings and i want to assess the whether the prolonged standing prolonged standing bmi age and the family history are affected with the bilateral or the flat feet condition because the flat feet mostly uh, <laughs> cause postural abnormalities those things that's why thank you let's give a round of applause to the presenter